Hello friends, I am Chevy. Welcome to my shed. How are you doing today? How is life in your world? Um, as we inch closer to the end of this medication, um, I have to kind of adjust and learn and balance and, and deal with things. And today, um, today has been kind of a bad day. It hasn't been a bad day. Like nothing bad has happened. I don't mean that, but I mean internally a bad day in a sense that I, f I feel kind of like a failure today. Um, I, I made a lot of little mistakes yesterday, a lot, little mistakes last night. I feel like I've made a lot of mistakes today. Nothing major, but just, you know, when dealing with other people, um, expectations don't always work the way they're supposed to. <laughs> anyway, I know that my feelings aren't justified. I know that I'm not a failure, um, but, you know, I still have that feeling, and the feeling is... It's difficult to deal with, and it's one. Of the, I know that there are um, there are programs that can help with that. You know, like CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, is a thing. Uh, I wish I could afford it. <laughs> I wish I could afford any therapy right now. I would love to see a therapist. Um, the this week on social media, on on YouTube, and a little bit of everywhere. If you've heard of the service called BetterHelp. Uh, it was, it, it was, it hit YouTube really hard like um, two months ago with advertising, like every major YouTuber was talking about better help and go, go sign up. And you know, it was, it's essentially an app, um, that's a service and that service is they provide you with an online counselor who can text you and you can set up, you know, call sessions with them or whatever. And they charge you a weekly fee. And, um. I think it's like $60 a week, so it's definitely not cheap, um, but is there, you can't really put a price on mental health, and that's $60 a week if you don't have insurance. $60 a week is way less than seeing an actual therapist, um, but I don't want to say that. The big thing was, the big blow up online was, um, are these people actual therapists? Because their terms of service said they weren't, that it was up to you to vet the person that you're talking to. Um, but the company says, no, we actually vet all of these people. They are board certified therapists, you know. So the point is, I try, I checked it out. I, I, I signed up um, to see if I could fit their service because they don't accept there are people who need to see a therapist like face to face you can you know so they they have you fill out the self questionnaire and stuff and then fill in some some stuff and then they say okay you've been accepted and if you can't afford it they do have financial assistance uh so i applied for that and i was able to get it reduced to like 30 something dollars a week but i still can't afford that and i that <laughs> it's hard to say that you know i can't afford uh 30 dollars a week for mental health that's the that's just the truth right now. That's just the fact of how my life is right now. Uh, I hope to change that in the near future. And if I do, I'd love to see a therapist. But um, that all goes back to say that today I feel like a failure. I feel I feel like I've done a lot wrong. And um, I just kind of want to go to sleep and wake up and, and start fresh. <laughs> but it was my work from home day. So I got a lot done today. Um, I, do, I get a lot done from work from home days. I started on we had um, we had our team meeting yesterday, and I kind of raised my hand. I, I'm just kind of getting tired of working on the legacy code, uh, so I raised my hand to a couple of other projects. So I got my development environment set up today for uh, one of the other projects that I'm going to start working on. That uh, one of the other one of the other team members did all the coding work. I just need to come in and clean it up and make it look pretty, uh, bootstrap it essentially. But, um, so that's going to be fun. That's fun stuff. I enjoy making stuff look pretty. And, uh, I started working on that today and got a lot of that done. So that was good. And I didn't, there, there's a, maybe that's part of it. Um, I'm having a serious issue with a particular feature on our, uh, biggest production app that we have that we're updating and I can't get it to work and I don't know why. And I've tried a hundred different ways and I just feel like, I feel like I'm doing something wrong, even though the exact same code on the last version of this software works just fine. But this is a new server. Uh, 
new version of PHP and it doesn't work, but and there's no errors. So uh, that's that's been a that's been two days of me trying to sort that out, and maybe that's part of the reason I feel like I'm not succeeding at life right now. But the fact of the matter is, I know I'm okay. I know that that I'm doing good, and that uh, mentally, I'm this pill thing is fine. It's not a problem at all. I'm really surprised. Like, I, I think I've said that I was. I'd be lying if I, if I claimed that I was not anxious about starting the pill or tapering off the pills. I there was some anxiety. I tried really hard not to focus on it because that just would compound itself. So uh, I feel really good coming down off of this. Like I don't feel a big difference at all, and that's a good thing. And the people around me say they don't notice a difference in me. So, uh, you know, I just have to learn how to, uh, appreciate myself more. I'm working on that and I have help. So thank you for being here as always. Thank you for liking, commenting, subscribing, being amazing friends. I hope you'll come back tomorrow. I'll see you then. Hey doc, wait, I want to ask you something. Today's random fact comes from knowledgenuts.com. Is Mount Everest the tallest mountain in the world? Mount Everest is the highest, but the tallest is actually Mauna Kea in Hawaii. This is because highest is defined as a measure of mean sea level to summit, while tallest is a measurement from the bottom to the top. From the base to its top, Mauna Kea measures 33,465 feet. Interesting.